a lot of memories for you. And I got to tell you, we did not know you were going to be here today. Somebody said to me, how come Grand Valley plays on Saturday night? And I said the credit or the blame, if, depending on your viewpoint, goes to Brian Kelly. You remember those early conversations you had about Saturday Night Football with Tim Selgo? I remember them quite vividly about getting a great crowd in here and, uh, you know, obviously getting this atmosphere that we hear, you know, tonight. You know, it's a great atmosphere. I'd like to have a couple more points on the board, but it looks like we're driving here and putting ourselves in a good position to put some uh, more points on the board. You're used to having emotional games here. I can think back to a playoff game mm -hmm. in the early 2000s against Indiana of Pennsylvania. Yes. When Kurt Ains was at his absolute best, it was played in a snowstorm. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like 50 to 6 at halftime. Yeah, well, we, we didn't make it quite as close as this one. It was at Now, you got to remember, Tom, we shoveled the field, too, uh, <laughs> just to get a good workout before the game started. Your season has gone very well so far. You had a big win against Virginia Tech last week. And, by the way, congratulations on victories number 100 and 101 to pass the great Newt Rockney. And that's got to mean so much to you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as you know, Tom, I mean, I'm not much into those kind of victories in terms of, you know, the, the the individual awards. It's about great players, great coaches. You know, it's about championships at Notre Dame, just like it is here. And, you know, I, I think, you know, Coach Mitchell is looking for a way here to, to win this football game tonight. They've made a couple of mistakes, which were untimely, but they're battling back here. We get a score here and make this 28-21. I think we've got a chance to win this football game. There is a strange parallel to what Ferris has done tonight with Jared Bernhardt, a former college lacrosse player, your guy, Jack Cohen, yep. was supposed to play lacrosse, I think, That's at Notre right. Dame, and then went to play football at Wisconsin. These guys have transferable skills. They do, and, and one of them is, is grit. And, and if, you, if you look at it, and both quarterbacks, there are some things that you look at him and go, you know what, he's not as polished as the other guys that maybe could have played, but they know how to make plays. If you look at some of the third downs that they have converted at Ferris, you know, he's running the ball. He's finding ways to make plays. They may not have been the best throws that he's, you know, ever had, but he finds a way to get the ball to the open receiver. So both of them are gritty. This kid's been gritty tonight, but uh, like I said, I think what I'm liking about, you know, Grand Valley is Coach Mitchell has gotten their mindset such that even with the big momentum turn, they're coming back here. Somebody jumped early there. I'm not sure if that was an offside or a motion. Big defensive lineman came through. This guy, Bernhardt, reminds me a little bit of your guy from the last couple of years, Ian Book, a, an ability to make a play out of nothing when it looks lost. Again, here's a guy that was the ACC Player of the Year for lacrosse. So you know that he's seen it all. So he's out here tonight with a great amount of confidence, believes he can make plays, and that's a huge advantage for him. He's been in these environments before, and, and uh, you know, obviously... You know, he hasn't played a lot of football, so he's, you know, a guy that is, is making some things up as he goes. But, again, I, I, I really like the mentality of this football team as they came out in the third quarter. Some things were said at half that were the right things because they have come out with a different temperament, Grand Valley, and, and moving the football here. Well, after the penalty, Grand Valley's got it second and short here for Cade Peterson with Jacob Miller going in motion. Grand Valley's going to run the football with Marion Kane VZ. And years ago, I remember a conversation I had with you about prospects, and we talked about players from big cities like Detroit. You said, you know, those guys are already finished products. You get a guy like this kid who's from Maple City, Glen Lake. He is in some ways the prototypical Grand Valley recruit to get a guy that they can work with. He's got some obvious physical skills. There's no doubt. And I think what Coach Mitchell's done a really good job is developing his players in their time here. And, and that's what you have to do in Division II. These kids are not ready-made. It takes time. Now, certainly, they're going to get some transfers along the way. But this program is built still on freshmen coming in that you have to develop. Let's see what Peterson can do here with uh, Arion kane Beasy down inside the five. And now Grand Valley knocking on the door again. Brian, we got to keep you here for a moment. The last time Grand Valley got down to this point of the field, it didn't work out too well. So maybe some Irish luck here will prevail. I think I think just holding on to the football uh, would be would be good enough here in this instance. And uh, they're going to score here. And and you know it's probably the first time that I've watched a game in in, in a long time at Grand Valley because 
you know, that pesky day job of mine gets in the way, but they're going to punch one in. They're going to flip it up to Hunter Risen. Oh, he gets outside, and he is inside the pylon and inside the end zone. How about the extra that point can get Grand Valley to within seven. Ray Dempster, the tight end on the outside, making that block upfield. Coach Kelly knows a lot about some special tight ends as he's got some it, good it, ones down there in South Bend. Bob, Bob Mitchell, never afraid to bring <laughs> up a, a, a tight end block because he never saw a block he, he, would, he would make. Uh, now, you want to throw a football. There was never a guy like Bob Mitchell in terms of catching a football. One of the best ever in college football that I've ever had. Oh, I appreciate that, Coach. How about this environment? You played in some unbelievable environments, Clemson. You played in some just amazing environments. And you come back to Allendale and tell the people out there about this special environment here in Allendale. Yeah, this is this is college football, right? If you're if you're looking at it, can, can it get bigger? Is there more? You know, it's 70,000, yes. But when you're on the field, you don't realize the difference between 70,000 and 15,000. Loud is loud. And so this is as good as it gets, and the players are engaged, and this is a great environment, and Grand Valley has been able to, to create that. And, and hats off to the administration athletic directors and everybody associated with Grand Valley. You have done your work. We should also point out you're not just here to see a football game. You're visiting with your son Patrick who's in school here. You still have a lot of connections and all that little shack right over there that bears your name. We're grateful for that and for all that you've done and the way you've represented Grand Valley in your years beyond. Well, I, I appreciate that. I've just been blessed and fortunate and you know it's just we have as a family benefited so much from Grand Valley. If we can give back in just a small way um, it, it's it's been a blessing for us. So um, let's see if we can get a great stop here, get the ball back, and let's get this thing tied up and win a football game. Brian, thank you so much for being with us here tonight. Best of luck to your team for the remainder of this year. Thanks, Tom. Always a pleasure, Bob. Thank you, Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Coach. Great awesome. to see you again. Thanks, guys. It's Brian Kelly, the former Grand Valley coach, now at the University of Notre Dame. And just in case you're wondering, he was at Grand Valley for longer than he's been at Notre Dame and he still loves this place as well. So how about that? Grand Valley scoring again to make it a 28-21 ball game.